Okay, this is Paul on Venter 3. We're back here with our magnet through the copper tube. This is our newest improved stand here. Four legs. This board just pulls right out of the base so the base can go up against the wall. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four areas to tie strings to and tie it around the end just to uh, hold it level in case I got it outside or on a windy day. Uh, the top also, this top board is a very thin washer and a screw. And let me show you the back side of that board. It has a slot carved into it. So this top board actually pulls right off too. So now that we got a good stand, let's see, I also got a mirror set up here. Let's see, we're gonna drop our 5 8 by half inch long neodymium magnet in here. Let's see, three, two, one, drop. Okay. You see I got some uh, magnetic viewing paper on here also. We'll see here, this is the halfway point. Where is that sucker? Whoops, we must have missed it. Because here it comes. Down here. Let me do that one more time. Drop in a magnet. And let's see if we can get a shot. Oh, jeez. Where the heck am I? There I am. There we go. There's our magnet. Okay, so now let's continue. I'm going to share some some notes with you for the, through the rest of this video here. Let me zoom out so we can see here. Okay, did a couple hundred experiments here. Uh, these are our two. These are our two magnets here. There we go, let's get focused here. Uh, this is just one that we just saw dropping through the copper tube. Uh, this is as seen through magnetic viewing paper, which is this stuff. Uh, two of these magnets glued with same poles together. You'll see a dividing line right there. Remember, keep in mind that this magnetic viewing paper views the division between north and south not so much the flux lines of the magnetic fields uh, so with that said you could see how viewing these magnets through this paper with opposites or with the uh, same poles glued together you could see how their division line is forced off center and they're pushed away from each other. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Most magnets fall more centered through tubes when North Pole is facing upward. Now, I don't know if that's the Coriolis effect, which is what I'm thinking. Um, that would be great if somebody in the southern hemisphere could replicate this experiment even with the shorter tube uh, just to see if this is true that if uh, in the southern hemisphere if the magnets fall with uh, south facing up more centered 
So here's another experiment here with uh, as seen through magnetic viewing paper. Now here I have uh, four magnets, thinner magnets. These are this size, uh, 625 diameter by 0.125 thick. Now four of those together with opposites all together you could see how there becomes only two division lines between a north and south so it's like two magnets are acting as one and the other two magnets start acting as one uh, let's continue here Oh, just to show you something here, it's uh, it's 101 degrees in here right now. Let's see. Anyhow, here's those same size magnets, eight of them together, with all having opposites attracted to one another, and you could see the division lines that we get through our magnetic viewing paper. It's quite interesting. Again, the two center ones are staying straight. This one's curved up, bottom one's curved downward. There's only four division lines, yet we have eight magnets. Okay, uh, some other notes here. The 625 diameter by 500 long takes 40 seconds to fall through the tubes. Uh, that was the one that I just showed you on the video. Uh, two of these magnets, same size, glued with same poles together, takes 50 seconds to fall through the tube. Now this is quite interesting because there's two times as much weight. And yet, if you take those same two magnets with opposites together, it takes 28.7 seconds. I've tried many combinations of different shaped magnets together, uh, spheres, uh, many, many different combinations. I also tried many uh, plastic ring spacers. Let me show you like those, putting them in between the magnets. Uh, let me show you up here. Where are we? There we are. These are the same magnets that, uh, the same spacers, plastic spacers that come with the magnets. They're shipped to you like that. So I have tried many different spacers. I was thinking about trying a square magnet and a square tube. But anyhow, let's go on. We're going to try a donut shaped magnets yet too, with more copper in the middle of them. Let's see, now here's two magnets. This is where things start getting a little interesting too. Now, this is as seen through magnetic viewing paper. Two magnets glued together, the thinner ones, with uh, same poles together. Now very interesting is viewing them through the magnetic paper one field gets bent a lot higher than the other side now this is strange because we didn't have this same we did not have this same effect with the by uh, 0.625 diameter mag magnets that are half inch long or 0.500 long but these thinner ones I do have this reaction here. Uh, we're at nine and a half minutes. Okay, this will have to be continued in the next video. Signing off.